Hi, my name is Zachary Cartwright, and I'm a graduate student in the food science program at Washington State University. Originally, I am from Albuquerque, New Mexico, the home of green chili, balloon fiestas, and of course, Walter White. Here, my brother Lucas and I were adopted by Michael and Diana Cartwright. My parents have always encouraged me to take advantage of education. So after graduating high school, I attended New Mexico State University. After several major changes, I finally chose biochemistry as my area of study. During my junior year, my friend Maggie introduced me to the idea of enology. This inspired me to read a book on the subject and then look for volunteer opportunities in the area. Gordon Steele, the owner of Rio Grande Winery, took me under his wing. It was at this winery that I learned about the balance between science and art as it relates to winemaking. It was here that my passion for the wine industry was born. Gordon was a graduate of a certificate program at Washington State University, and he encouraged me to look for graduate school opportunities. I found what I was looking for in the lab of Dr. Charles Edwards at Washington State University. The focus of his lab is on problem alcoholic fermentations and spoilage microorganisms of concern to winemakers. My research follows this trend and is focused on the spoilage yeast Britannomyces bruxellensis, or simply Brett. Brett is often quoted as the number one spoilage microorganism in red wines. Once a Brett infection has occurred, aromas described as horse sweat, band-aids, and rancidity can take over the wine bouquet. It is also exceedingly difficult to remove this yeast once it's entered the winery. Therefore, understanding how this micro persists in both the winery and the vineyard is crucial to our wine industry. To address this problem, during the upcoming school year, I will be monitoring Brett culturability in winery waste products, including grape pumice. Pumice is often used in industry as a vineyard fertilizer, so I'll be tracking Brett survival throughout the year in several Washington State vineyards. This may give better insight into Brett's occurrence in the vineyard, a topic that has been controversial in the past. Furthermore, I am also planning a study to observe different oak sanitation techniques against Brett in oak barrels. Although there are previous studies on the subject, they fail to address the impacts of different types of oak on the depths at which Brett can be found. Therefore, I will be using both American and French oak barrels at different levels of toasting. Beyond my research, I also plan on continuing my wine education in the classroom. I have already completed wine sensory, microbiology, and processing classes, but I plan to take courses on wine biochemistry, viticulture, and also wine business. Continuing my research and education at WSU is made possible in part by a scholarship from the American Wine Society Educational Foundation. At this time, I'd like to thank the AWSEF for their continued support and for giving me an opportunity to excel. If you have any questions about this video or about the program at WSU, please feel free to contact me. Thanks for taking your time to watch this video. Cheers.